if you're feeling anxiety about going out and socializing, that's because that is a new frontier in which you can develop yourself. And this is where modern science kicks in. Yes. Because psychologists call this experiential avoidance. Yep. And here's the thing. Experiential avoidance is highly correlated with low levels of life satisfaction. So if you are avoiding these things, if you are allowing anxiety to stop you from talking to people, if you are allowing anxiety to stop you from going out of your house, if you're allowing anxiety to stop you from leaning into your career and trying to go after these pursuits that really matter to you, well, guess what? This experiential avoidance leads to low life satisfaction. It leads to depression. Yeah, and I wanna go on that bit for a second. So there is a there is a new in internet culture. There's some new terms that I'm seeing Uh-oh. that are starting to come up over and over again. And this is where I I try to be hip with the kids, right? <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> and so if this enters my world, then it's it's now coming into the mainstream. And there is this thing that the the, the kids are talking about, which is they're calling certain people doomers, and the doomers are people who are because of the internet having all the world's information on it and they're they're researching and they're doing all these things and they're looking at things in a, through a very scientific lens they tend to see the world as as empty uh, no, life has no meaning and become and they have a very um uh a nihilistic view that nothing matters. And once you go down that road, well, why are you going about to, uh, to develop yourself if there's no purpose in it? And what happens with this, if you continue to phosphor that and you're going to, if you can find other communities on the internet, where are just full of these people who can just lay in that f- feeling and of of course, if that's the case, then your daily routine is looking of how can you distract yourself from these negative feelings, negative feelings. And the other term that, that the, that I'm seeing pop up, which is then the doomers who are able to pull themselves out and to, then they become bloomers. Oh, doom to bloom, doom to bloom. And so the bloomers, are then the are are those who have went through that depression, who have went through that nihilism, and managed to p- create and put together meaning in their life and a purpose that is larger than them, which involves self actualizing community and a life purpose and goal, which they can then chase, and then they've escaped these feelings of anxiety and depression that they're trying so desperately to avoid and distract themselves from they're now they've worked through them and they have this new outlook on life and if you can reach to that point then everything becomes a challenge it's blissful it's learning failure washes away because failure is now replaced with learning opportunities rejection has washed away because it's now filled with opportunities so how can you better yourself and so your framing of the of the world around you begins to change and there's a lot of work that has to go there and i think this is where another point where nietzsche talks about if you look into the abyss it looks back at you and then you have to go through that into the other side in order to be reborn in order to become the bloomer and a lot of times this will simply be a view of our own mortality Yes. Coming to grips with it, whether it's through the loss of a parent. I know I went through it losing my dad and it's a life shaking moment and it's a this is very temporal. We need to make the most out of the little bit of time that we have. And that can can create this blooming that you're discussing. Now, I want to point this out because this is counterintuitive. Your comfort zone does not actually make your life better. And avoiding anxiety and discomfort is not helpful to your mental health, well-being, and life satisfaction. In fact, it is the reason that many of our clients come to see us in the first place. It's because their comfort zone that they've been hanging out in, avoiding this anxiety, avoiding this pain and fear of rejection and pain of acceptance, well, guess what? 
you're spinning your wheels a year, two years, three years, and all of a sudden you're like, I can't take this anymore. Nope. So when we are going about our daily lives and avoiding discomfort, avoiding anxiety, we are setting ourselves up for a greater fall that may even be unhealthy, may lead to those vices that Johnny was talking about that become the greater distractions. 